guys, it's Natalia here. I'm here to show you the Lust Habit Box for November. Um, I know I got this a little bit late and I got it last week, but I have been arranging my five-year-old's Spider-Man birthday party and that has taken pretty much all week. It was on the weekend, he had such a fantastic time. Now I can sit back, relax, it's all over. I'm going to some exciting things like share with you what I got in the Lust Habit Pack. So, um, open the box, we've got a purple bag this month. Let's see, I'm, uh, I don't know if you saw my Bella box, I'm really interested to see what we get in this um, pack this month. For those of you who know or got Lust Habit last month, you would know it was really quite disappointing. Their products were just, I don't know who came up with it, but it was just not good. So I think they really, really have a lot of work to redeem themselves from last month. So I'd be really interested to see what we've got. So let's have a look. Um, so on the card says, Dear beautiful community, as we head towards the silly season, it's time to get ourselves summer ready and party gorgeous. Um, told you a bit about it. This is the last month you'll be receiving our pop, up, our pop color makeup bags. Next month we'll be introducing a new range of collectible packaging and we'll hope you'll love it as much as we do. Well, <laughs> that will be interesting because I love these bags. I use them all the time and I'm not going to get them again. So, okay, I can deal with that. I'll be very interested to see what Last Habit come up with to replace them. So, let's see what we've got. Alright, I have got, let me just start off with random thing number one, Evodia Mango and Pink Grapefruit Fragrance Roll-On. Um, it is a roll-on perfume by the looks of it. So let's just see. So that is the tube it comes in. Mango and Pink Grapefruit. Okay, so I'm trying to pull the lid off but you just twist it. It's um... It's very, very strong. It sort of smells like a juice. I'm not really that good with describing smells. It's actually quite nice. I don't know if I'd wear it as a um, perfume, but I don't know. It'd be nice in a candle, I think. But um, it might grow on me. I think I'll keep trying that one. But it is very fresh and fruity, so that's one thing I like about it. Here we have got Aviva Inspires Skin Glow Light Tan Extender for all skin types. Um, really good thing to put in a box in summer because so many people are getting spray tans. Believe me, I know I go and spray tan a lot of people around Sydney every week. It says Skin Glow Light Tan Extender for all skin types, optimized for sunless tanning, paraben free, vitamin infused. Um, it says, apply liberally to body and face to moisturize skin and maintain fresh looking tan. Do not shower for five hours after application. Can be used daily if desired. Wash hands thoroughly after handling the product. It's got a DHA in it. Aqua, it's got water. Dihydroxyacetone. Sterile alcohol, cetyl alcohol. Yeah. So it seems to have a DHA in there, which is the main ingredient for a tanner. Um, so it would be interesting. I don't know how it would work, if it would work with all varieties of tans. Um, but I guess it's always worth having a go. Um, most uh, tanning tan solutions have their own um, sort of tan extender moisturizer with their own sort of DHA and their own formula in it. So I'm not sure how this would go across the entire range of tan solutions because I know that some of them have got like green based undertones, purple based undertones. Um, so yeah, that would be interesting. It might be worth giving it a go, but I probably wouldn't test it out if you had somewhere to go um, for that reason because I'm not sure. Worth giving it a go, yes, but make sure you wouldn't do it if you're going to a special event. You'll more likely just go get a fresh spray tan. So here we have got hair care product from GKMBJ. And it is one minute effective and efficient treatment. Um, that's all it says on the bottle. So I want to see what it says on the card. One minute treatment, ideal for those with a busy lifestyle. This sensual hair treatment repairs, restructure, restructures, nourishes, and moisturizes your hair from root to tip, all in a minute. Um, I have used this shampoo before, and I found it really, really good. I really enjoyed using that shampoo, so I'm really looking forward to trying that one out. Um, I've had good, heard good things. I've 
experience really good things with this shampoo. I think it does a really, really good job. So um, definitely worth trying that one out. We have got two things left. The next thing I've got in here is a um, tweezers. <laughs> Uh, sort of cute blue and sparkly pink flowers on them. They doesn't say what brand they are. Star and Rose hologram, hologram tweezers. Um, yeah, that's actually a really nice thing to put in there. Always do with some tweezers, so thanks for that. I'll certainly be keeping them aside. And the last thing we've got here is I have got a fiber lash extender mascara. So this is a full size product, which is fantastic. Uh, it um, the retail price of these is $28 so well done for giving us a full size product I have never used these kind of um, fiber I mascaras before because I guess I don't really need them my eyelashes are incredibly long as it is but I'm really looking forward to trying this I have heard a lot of people rave about it um, let's see if I can get up close so you can see the wand If you can sort of see the fibers coming off the one, they are so fine. Um, maybe that one's a bit better. There, there, let me assure you. Um, from what I can see so far, I think I might actually really like that one. So that is the Model Co. Lash Extend Fibrous Mascara Extreme Black Lengthening Mascara. So that rounds up the November Lost Habit Box. So there were five products in there. Fantastic. I really like this one. I'm looking forward to trying that one. Tweezers are always fantastic and handy to have and this GK MBJ uh, hair treatment is also really excited to try that one out um, because I do like that brand and I've had good results with that brand previously. So that is it for the November Lust Habit box. I would say they have redeemed themselves from last month so well done Lust Habit and I'm interested to see next month what the new packaging will be. So keep an eye out for that one in December. I hope you guys are having a fantastic week and I will talk to you soon. Bye.